Hi guys, my name is Bella and in this video we are going to talk about the BNWO thing and this video has been highly highly requested so we are going to talk about everything that this comes with, right? So this term stands for Black New World Order and just a quick disclaimer before I start this video I respect all races and all races are welcome into my channel This is just simply an educational video about this BNWO fantasy So, um, as I said, it stands for Black New World Order and it's widely used especially in the sissy and cuckold spheres and what it stands for is that all the white males are considered inferior to all the black ones. So um, if you are, it is part of race play as well. So if you are um, white, you are basically automatically a sissy or a cuckold or not a man enough. I mean, for obvious reasons, like when we look at the black men, they're obviously um, more masculine, they're well built and all of that. So, um, yeah. If you are into this kind of a thing and um, you are a white boy, that means that you are automatically going to submit to a black male and uh, he's going to be the one who is going to take your girl and you're going to become his toy or sissy or cuckold and it may even go into a BDL play where you're going to become kind of like a little baby in the family um, um, you know, where, whereas before you were her boyfriend, husband, whatever now that you found found this uh, black man, you're the one who is um, automatically inferior and you belong into the diapers. <laughs> so I guess this this kind of thing, this kind of fantasy is very interesting and it makes sense because as I'm saying in a lot of my videos that evolutionary speaking, men are taught to, um, men have always been taught to respect a man that is higher on the alpha scale than they are and they are automatically, um, they automatically know how to submit whereas in the w women, we as women, we don't have anything, um, any um, scheme like this, right? So, um, yeah, these kind of men are obviously um, more more alpha, more masculine, and what's left for you than to just submit and become a sissy to him, you know? And I think there's like a, a really interesting thing that men are really evolutionary, they have been like really um, taught to be okay with giving space to more masculine alpha men, because we as women, like we're competitive, you know? like. She's not gonna get that, I'm going to get that, right? Like, we don't really respect each other's that much, right? Like, we are very kind of, like, hateful, like, oh, she did that, no, like, I hate her right now, but men are not like that. Men, when, when they see a bigger man that gets the prize, they're like, whoa, wow, like, they respect him, you know, that they, they, like, look up for him, uh, look up to him. And this is exactly what's happening in this fantasy. Um, we, as women, we don't have it, right? So, um... Uh, I think it's very interesting and uh, this fantasy plays a lot into this evolutionary kind of uh, psychology that um, if you are a white man that is inferior, that is obviously smaller, like it's packing, it's not packing, doesn't have any muscles, it's, it's like, you know, worse built that you just have to respect a man that is bigger and going to take your girl and um, you just have to bow down and obey and just be a good boy and respect um the one that um, should be respected right <laughs> uh, i hope this video guys helped you understand um all you wanted to know about this let me know if um if you like it because i certainly do and i will see you in my next video bye